Hi friends, long time no see. How are you all doing? I know a lot of us suffer with autoimmune diseases and we are working on eating healthier so that we can avoid all that awful, awful inflammation and joint pain. I don't know about you guys, but I am doing fabulous. I am really, really, really enjoying the AIP diet. I really haven't had any cravings and it's crazy that I haven't. How about you guys? Let me know in the comments below. First of all, what state you're in. I would love for us all to get to know each other. Let me know what state you're in and how you're doing on your eating plan. I'm gonna talk about my experience so far with the autoimmune protocol diet. Now you're supposed to eat clean, it's supposed to be clean eating, lots and lots of vegetables, lots of nutrient vitamin packed food. So I have been struggling a little bit with my portions, not in, as in big portions, just as in I'm eating too much protein when I should probably eat, be eating a lot more vegetables. So that's a work in progress, but I mean, I'm still shedding the weight. But when I went and reviewed my little packet that the naturopathic doctor gave me, you're supposed to be eating a piece of meat that's like a deck of cards and then just packing your plate or surrounding it with like salad and vegetables and all that goodness. And you really wanna to try to pack at least three vegetables into each meal, which has been a challenge for me. I'm gonna show you what I had for breakfast this morning. You know, sometimes you just don't have those things on hand. And personally, I think it's okay as long as you're eating clean and you know, you're not overdoing it. I, I think it's okay, but to heal a leaky gut, a lot of us who are on this diet believe that we have leaky guts where toxins seep out and basically when they get in our body or our system, it attacks, it attacks us and so you get joint pain and swelling and an overall feeling of just feeling terrible. So if you really want to be perfect, you really need to pack three diff like different vegetables into each serving, small pieces of meat, and limit your fruit, you know, to a very small serving a day. I pretty much ate my serving of fruit for breakfast. So here's what I ate. breakfast foods, what I'm eating is not what you would consider breakfast at all in the slightest. For example, this morning, my husband and I had a pork chop, a very thin pork chop with some sauteed shiitake mushrooms and olive oil with Himalayan sea salt. I should have sauteed some fresh spinach to go with it with the shiitakes, uh, but I didn't. And then I had a very small bowl of strawberries and blueberries, and that was breakfast. I had my banana chino, which is my coffee. I'll link the video right there that shows how we make it because you cannot, you're really not supposed to have coffee on this diet, but my naturopathic doctor is letting me have one a day. No creamer. Now you could do coconut cream or coconut powder, and I've shared, um, I've shared those on a pre previous video, but I, we have the banana chino and that with breakfast, like I'm, I'm full. I, I guarantee I won't even be hungry till way later today. And for lunch, if, if I am hungry, I'll have a big bowl of arugula salad or spinach with loaded with vegetables, with olive oil and a balsamic, uh, and balsamic vinegar. And then I'll, I just throw herbs on it, like Herbs de Provence, Himalayan salt, and maybe garlic and onion powder. Maybe a little squeeze of lemon juice, you know, whisk it all together, pour it, drizzle it all over the salad with lots of vegetables, maybe a small amount of protein, and it's delicious. And then for dinner, 
I'm not sure what we're gonna have tonight, but if we have dinner, sometimes my dessert at night is just a, a navel orange sliced up and for watching TV, I'll just get myself a little bowl and just eat my little navel orange real slowly and that's my day. It's working, you guys. I am a huge fan of this diet because it curbs my appetite, not even hungry, hardly ever. Um, I feel so much better. You guys, I can't even tell you how much better I feel now that I'm doing this diet. Now, I wanna, I wanna talk about something because you're supposed to eat organic food and sometimes you can't always get organic. The grocery store by our house has a very teeny tiny section. It's almost non-existent. So when I went last week, the whole family wanted hamburgers and I thought, what, what am I gonna eat? And so I decided to go ahead and have a hamburger patty, small one, and then I got myself some romaine lettuce and I put, I put the romaine lettuce down, my hamburger patty that only had Himalayan salt on it and a little bit of onion powder, maybe a little garlic and a little bit of herbs, yeah. And that's what I put on mine, put it on the lettuce, added my avocado, what else did I put on it? I don't know, maybe some mushrooms and I rolled it in my my lettuce leaf and ate it that way. It was delicious. And then I had a salad and vegetables with it. So I'm learning how to eat and when everybody else is having bread, I'm learning how to eat and enjoy my food without all that bread. It's wonderful and I feel great. Now I will tell you that that hamburger I had last week, the meat was not organic. And I can tell you that that evening I started to feel achy, achy in the joints. So I'm really learning through this diet what foods trigger me and what foods are okay. So I'm definitely seeing the no foods, the yes foods, and I'm keeping track of what aggravates me. And I can tell you right now, when I eat organic meat, organic fruits and vegetables, I feel amazing. The second I eat like a meat from the grocery store that's non-organic, they probably have fillers in it. It could be animals treated with antibiotics and they can have preservatives to keep the meat fresh. All those things can trigger inflammation and mucus, by the way. I don't know about any of you who suffer with autoimmune diseases, but one of your body's defense mechanisms is to create mucus when, it, when things get inflamed. So I noticed when I had was eat, was not eating well, I felt like I was always swallowing. Like just, I just felt very mucusy in my throat. And now I don't. In fact, I felt bad so much in my throat, swallowing all the time, that you could hear it in my voice. Like at the end of the night, I, it was always real crackly and it just sounded awful. And now that I've been on this diet, and I eat, if I'm eating well and I don't, and I eat all organic, I don't, I don't feel triggered at all in the slightest. So for those of you that suffer, I highly, highly recommend this diet because you literally will just, you will see for yourself what foods trigger you and what foods don't. And you'll just know, stay, I can't eat that way anymore. I have to go down this path eating this way only because it's only going to make me feel better. Make sense? Okay, so I wanna share this with you guys again in case you're frustrated with how your plate approach needs to be in regards to how to put the food on your plate so that it's sort of compliant with this diet. So here is, if you guys can see, this is sort of how your plate, oops, this is how your plate should look. Now, you should have four to eight ounce serving, a four to eight ounce serving of high quality animal protein, grass fed, pasture raised, organic, very important. Then you should have fresh herbs or spices to add flavor and nutrients to whatever your protein is. Everything needs to be cooked and dressed with healthy fats. 
So I like to use olive oil, coconut oil. Those are my two top ones that I like to use. There's more you can use, but those are my two top, my two top ones. Then you want two or more servings of a non-starchy veg vegetable like broccoli or kale, one serving of a root or tuber or slow burning starch. So again, oops, that is how your plate should look. Try to screenshot that so you have it for yourself. So when constructing a meal, think of fish, shellfish, organ meat for proteins. More often, seek the highest quality meat that you can afford grass-fed or pasture-raised organic. You want to eat tons of veggies. Eat the rainbow. Choose vegetables of different colors. Mix up raw versus cooked. So you want to try to do that every day. Slow burning carbs. Choose starchy roots and tubers. And then choose high quality fats for cooking. From grass fed or pasture raised animals, high quality cold pressed extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, or grass fed butter or ghee. Add a probiotic food. Think of sauerkraut or pickles to boost your meal. Use fresh herbs and spices whenever possible. Try to cook at home most of the time. I know it's hard, like when I go out, I have to take my food, I because I don't wanna mess up and I, I don't wanna eat something at a restaurant that was cooked in the wrong oil or was prepared next to something where they were using hot chilies or pepper, things that are gonna definitely upset me. So try to, you know, just be mindful of that when you go out and avoid getting in a rut. And that can be kind of hard too. You've really got to do your research, kind of write down what you like to eat and put together a little bit of a menu and that always helps now, too. Now today I had planned on doing plantain chips with you where you take a plantain and you slice it super, super thin. I've made my first batch a few weeks ago and I made mine a little too thick and when I baked them and then I went to use them in my dip, I was like, I don't like that consistency. I wanted something that tasted like a chip. So I have learned slice them super, super thin. And then I, I put them in a bowl and I coat them with coconut oil and Himalayan salt, you know, do toss it up real good. And then you stick it in the oven and bake them. When they come out, you can make a wonderful batch of guacamole and just dip in it. It's a special, special treat. So I usually do that once a week and it's delish. So if I can get to the store, I will plan on doing a video for you because they're actually really, really now, good. Now I found another YouTube channel where they were saying these were AIP compliant. I found these, I ordered these on Amazon. They're roasted and salted plantain chips, thin and crispy snacks straight from Colombia. And when you turn it around, let's see. The only ingredients are green plantains, palm oil, and salt. So you get a lot in here and just a small handful does it for me. They're really good. Only three ingredients, zero grams, trans fat per serving, 40% less fat than regular potato chips made with non-GMO ingredients. So if you like these, if you if you like plantains or you'd like to try these, I will link them below for you. Give them a try. I mean, my girls think these are good. So if kids think they're good, hey, you might wanna try it. Another thing I wanna share with you is throw out your scale. Do not keep a scale around it's no good it's negativity you don't need that in your life throw it out I say that because a lot of us retain water and I can literally get on the scale 
I can see it in my clothes. You know, I get, I'm feeling good. I get on the scale and I'm like, oh my goodness, that, that scale hasn't moved in days. What the heck? What in the world? And I've had nutritionists tell me that people, some people just hold on to water more than others. And you can literally eat something or eat something with too much salt in it and boom, you're up five pounds on the scale. And then you get on it and you've worked so hard and you just feel so defeated. You know what I mean? No, thank you. No, thank you. I have, I don't even know where my scale is, but I'm not about to get on it and it's working. Like I'm telling you, I don't even care about the scale anymore. It's out of here. What I care about is how my clothes are fitting on me. And if they're fitting loose and I'm feeling good, that's all that matters. So, you know, you be your own judge of that. But I know for me, from past experiences, having a scale around does nothing for me. It's no good. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day. I, when I, after I have my breakfast, I drink probably two 32 ounce bottles of water within that hour. And, you know, and then I'll drink some more all throughout the day. And it's making my skin feel better. I feel better. Make sure you're staying positive about the whole situation. Cause I know for a lot of people, going to such a restrictive diet is very, very hard. And if I hadn't done keto, this diet would be ultra hard for me. It would be like a shock. But because I've done keto, I kind of knew what to expect. And I, I, I'm really loving it because I'll tell you why. I'm loving it so much because when I look at how I used to feel, when I would get up in the morning, compared to how I feel now with much more energy. I'm just like, yeah, let's go. What do we want to do today? You know, night, night and day. So when you start feeling good, life is so much better. It's so much better. So always try to stay positive. I, one thing I've been teaching myself and I have to recite this to myself every single day, faith over fear. I am someone that's always kind of been a, a worry wart. And I really think that when people worry, it holds you back in life. I think I'm a worry wart just by nature. And so I'm really trying to tell myself, faith over fear, Liz, faith over fear. And if you're a person of faith, you know, I have to tell myself, you know what, God is, God is your doctor. God is going to take care of you. God is going to guide you. And in the end, God is going to help you be successful. So positive affirmations, praying to God and say, please, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm struggling, struggling or I, oh, gosh, I wish I could eat this when I have to have that. You just have to keep reminding yourself, remember the inflammation, remember the joint pain, remember just feeling awful, awful. And then think to yourself, I feel great. I'm doing okay. God's got this and he'll get me through it. He will. And feeling better is more important than having a bite of that. You know what I mean? So it's, it's literally psychological games with yourself, mental games. There's a mental aspect to uh, not feeling well and your mind taking you to dark places, like telling you, I can't do it. I've tried that diet. I've tried, you know, I've tried a gazillion diets and some of them work, some of them don't. But you have to tell yourself this time it's going to work. It's good. It's going to be good for me and it's going to work and I'm going to be done with the pain. So this was sort of a chatty little video. I plan, like I said, I plan on doing some cooking with you today, but I plan on doing that uh, in the next video. So stay tuned for that. I really want to start showing you the things I make and how I plate them up, showing you what I drink uh, throughout the day because my naturopathic doctor has told me to, to uh, start drinking all these really healthy teas. And I just started doing that and those are helping with joint, joint pain. So that will be coming up. Uh, this is sort of just a check-in to say hi, see how you guys are, all are doing. Um, 
And if things are working for you, drop them in the comments below because we all, we all could use suggestions. And if it's working for you, it might work for us too. So there you go. All right, you guys, I will see you in the next one. Love you all so much. We can do this and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.